platform, covered with green bays and trimmed with golden tassels and binding. The skills required to produce these magnificent coaches survive. It is a pity that the Irish coach, built by Hutton of Dublin and still used by the English monarch, is the only Irish ceremonial coach now seen frequently in public. It has been estimated that there are, or were, 200 types of horse-drawn vehicles, not counting hybrids. As time progressed, many of these, like this Landau, had more technical innovations added. The Landau was basically a convertible, an open carriage with two hoods, which could be raised to meet in the centre to make it completely enclosed. This coach or drag was once the property of the Gore Booth family. It was designed to carry large numbers both inside and out. 21 people in all could be accommodated. Coaches of this kind became popular in Ireland in the 18th century, and it is unlikely that this drag is less than 150 years old. It was the railway that first made this type of coach obsolete. This drag, which was completely built in Breen's works, is for sale. Colum Breen's nephews, Billy and John, and nieces, Bridgine and Elizabeth, cannot fail to grow up with a love and appreciation of these skills. They excite the imagination of youth and age alike. The drag would normally have been pulled by four horses, two pairs harnessed on each side of a splinter bar. A single animal or pair was often added to assist the coach up a steep hill or if the going was heavy. The strap windows remind us how much the early railways borrowed from the coach builders. The braking shoe is similar to that designed for 18th century male coaches and was also used on farm carts in the Leakslip area of Dublin within living memory. It runs up on the drag here and it drags along the road. It acts as a brake. Well, the coach itself is a ton weight, on lead. Four horses pulled them. There has been a revival of interest in horse-drawn vehicles in Ireland in recent years. The Driving Club of Ireland now holds regular rallies for such owners. Powers Court near Enniskerry, County Wicklow, was the venue for this rally. As with motor car rallies, the contestants are timed over a prepared course. But compared to the screaming whine of engines, the soothing sounds of the animal's hooves are much more pleasant.
It must be said that this is an expensive sport, but it is also a sport which can be enjoyed by young and old alike, and also by the disabled. Great private collections of these original vehicles have been built up, and it is a matter of public concern to see that these collections are retained in the country. In these horse-drawn vehicles, the hands of many craftsmen have produced objects of grace and beauty, which every one of us can appreciate. Ha, ha, ha.